Hello everyone, my name is Iron Nancy, and to be honest, I don't really know how I feel about Kale and Khalifla. I mean, their characters just seem like uh, different versions of characters that we've already had in the past. Kale is obviously just a female version of Broly, and Khalifla just seems like a female version of Goku. Like, and this episode sort of felt the same, like back to the uh, Dragon Ball Z days, where everyone was just trying to obtain that new level of Super Saiyan. So it sort of felt like a little bit of a filler episode, even though it wasn't. But I don't want to stay on Kale and Khalifa for too long as well, because I don't feel like those characters can really hold a story together because they're really one dimensional. Like there's no extra plot for them. Like the difference between Kale and Khalifa and Kabe is that Kabe actually has a special relationship with somebody from a different universe that goes beyond just, um, I don't know how, how Khalifa responds to Goku. It's not just nonstop action all the time with these two. And in this episode, we actually got to see Goku sort of training Khalifa, which I actually really liked. I like both Vegeta and Goku taking on more of like a learning aspect. Like they teach these uh, different Saiyans from these from Universe 6. But um, yeah, uh, the animation in this one was pretty good and I did like a few of the tracks that they used. I mean, we've heard them before. It's not like the Ultra Instinct theme. But I mean, it's pretty good. I like those a lot. And as I said before, the animation was actually on point in a lot of this episode. Some of it was slacking, as usual, this is Dragon Ball Super. But, I mean, the Super Saiyan 3 transformation deserves, like, an award on its own for animation. It was so beautiful. It did have a resemblance to Z, like, the first time he transformed. But, I mean, it was still different in and of itself. And I like that a lot. Uh, hopefully we can see a little bit more from Kale and Khalifa that don't make them feel so one-dimensional as characters. Like, we can get sort of a Kabe to sneak in some of that plot about them or something. Something to spice up these characters, because as I said before, I don't think we could stay on them for too long without getting them pretty boring. But thank you all for watching this, and I will see you all in the next episode, or rather, the next video. Peace out.